Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is me, Jared Stodd, back with another video. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button because the content's only getting what, Nathan? Crazy. That's right, the content is getting absolutely crazy on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed because it's a wild ride. But anyways, as you see by the title of this video, I'm gonna tell you the full story on how I lost my eye. I've explained it a few times on TikTok, however, I've never actually told the full story, so today, I'm gonna tell you the full entire story on how I lost my eye. So let's get right into it. So it all started when my mom met my dad and they fell in love and they had me. Hi, I'm Jarrett and my life is kinda crazy because I only have one eye and let me tell you why. So it all started the day that I was born. I was born a month and a half premature and the umbilical cord was wrapped around my neck multiple times. So as soon as I was born, I was constantly put in an incubator and I was there for a few weeks. But after I got out of the incubator, everything was fine until when I was about one and a half years old. When I was about one and a half years old, my mom just gave birth to my baby sister Lydia and she was only born for a few weeks before my mom noticed something very funny. She took a picture of me and my entire family. However, in that picture, she noticed that there was something wrong with my eye and she showed my dad and my dad was also concerned. So what she saw in that picture was actually like a gold or a yellow film in one of my eyes, which is very strange. So when my sister had to go to the hospital to get her two week checkup, my mom actually showed that picture to our doctor and our doctor was also very concerned because he had never seen anything like that before in his entire life either. So he didn't really know what to do, so he sent me to a different hospital where I did tests and x-rays. And there at that hospital, I was doing tests and x-rays for a couple weeks. And finally, when the test results came back, they figured out that I had a rare type of cancer in the retina of my eye called retinoblastoma. Although I don't remember any of this happening because I was literally only a year and a half old, my mom has told me so many stories of how hard it was for my mom and my dad and my grandparents. All of my family has said that this is by far the hardest thing that they have ever gone through. And both of my parents and my grandparents all said that they asked the doctor if they could give their eye to me. However, the doctor sadly told them no because there's no such thing as an eye transplant yet. So because there is no such thing as an eye transplant yet, the doctors gave my parents two options. And those options were, the first option was to go through chemotherapy, which would allow me to keep my eye. However, there was a high chance of the cancer spreading and that could have possibly led to me dying. And the second option was to remove my eye and take out all the cancer with it. So my parents were left with those two very difficult options and they ended up choosing for me to take out my eye and take out all the cancer with it because at the end of the day, they didn't wanna to have to risk their child dying. Although this was a difficult decision for my parents to make because they still didn't wanna to have to see their child live with one eye because they knew that would also be extremely difficult. However, they didn't want their child to die and here I am today, still with one eye and inspiring millions of people all throughout the world. And honestly, I couldn't thank my parents anymore for choosing the option that they did because it has made me into the man that I am today. So anyways, a few weeks after my parents made the decision to remove my eye, I had to undergo surgery to get the eye removed. And before surgery, my brother was only three or four years old at the time. And before surgery, my mom was crying in the hospital room. And my brother comes in the room because because my mom's crying. And he goes, mom, why are you crying? And she goes, your brother's eye is sick. And my brother goes, that's okay, he has another one. And my mom told me that that helped her get through it so much more. Because although what I was going through and my family was going through was very hard, there was always something out there that could be worse. So that made my family get through it a little bit easier. But after that conversation, I went into surgery and I came out with one eye. And ever since, I have been known as the one-eyed man. And although there's been a lot of struggles growing up with one eye my whole entire life, and people tell me that I can't do this and I can't do that and this is impossible, I quickly realized that I can do all of those things. All I had to do was put my mind to it and everything that I was told that I can't do, I have done. And although it has been very difficult, I have learned to overcome every single obstacle in my way. And now after 19 years 
of having one eye, I can say that losing my eye has made me into the man that I am today. About eight months ago, I was scared to ever take out my fake eyeball and show who I truly was until I started my YouTube and my TikTok channel. And in the last eight months, I have quickly realized that showing who you truly are and accepting yourself for who you truly are is one of the best things that anyone could ever do. Because once you accept yourself for who you are, you become the happiest person ever. And although that I am considered different for having one eye or not normal, I've began to realize that why would you want to fit in when you can stand out? And that is the phrase that I will live by for the rest of my life. Why would you want to fit in when you can stand out? That phrase has helped me so much in the last year and I wear that phrase with pride and you can too because I am releasing my own Why Would You Want to Fit In When You Can Stand Out merch. So if you would like to get some of those clothes, the release date is July 23rd. But that is gonna end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me along this crazy journey. I couldn't do this without any of you guys. And remember, be yourself, be different, and don't forget to smile because smiling makes this world a better place. I will see you guys in a couple of days. Peace! I'm not in the palace, palace.